Philip Provost with the Provost Team, and today you're joining me at the Walla Walla Sub Shop for another episode of Walla Walla Wednesdays. Hi, today we're here with Haley with Walla Walla Sub Shop, and Haley, can you tell us just a little bit about the sub shop? Yeah, it was started in 1979. I'm the fourth owner. Tony owned it for a while and sold it to Kay Cosgrove, and that's who I purchased it from. All right, and how long have you had the business, and, and what changes has it had? Okay, I purchased the business about a year and a half ago, and we started with a full remodel because it originally was a Dairy Queen in the 50s, so it definitely needed some updating. So we did a full remodel, kind of spruced up the menu a little bit, added some healthier options like mixed greens and more vegetarian options. We've added a lot of soups too, so yeah, just trying to modernize it a little bit, but hold on to the core sandwiches that Walla Walla likes. Okay. And then, uh, do you guys have any like specialty items that you'd say is like the star of the show here? Um, croissant sandwiches have definitely taken off, um, and we run daily specials like our blue cheese bacon and roast beef dip has been popular and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And then I know that me and my wife came recently and got the roast beef or the French dip. I think is what you guys yeah. call it. That was a really good sandwich. Oh, good. Um, do you have a favorite sandwich on the menu? Oh gosh, I'm kind of traditional. I've been eating the ham salami pepperoni since I was about five here. Yeah. So yeah, 32 years of that sandwich. <laughs> and then I know you said you do get some local things as well from some local companies. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. We use Birch Creek Farms for our tomatoes seasonally, as well as Castaldi's for our onions throughout the season, doing Walla Walla Sweets and Washington Sweets. We do get some products for specials at the Walla Walla Farmer's Market, like honey from Octopus Garden and a few things from Welcome Table. So a lot of local produce and things like that. As much as we can get when we can get it, yeah. All right, so I know you guys have been here for a long time, as you said, a couple owners, but maybe not everybody knows where it is. Your location's kind of unique. Can you explain that a little bit? We're right at the edge of Whitman Campus on Boyer Avenue next to the Flatiron Building. All right, so I know that you said you have something that's possibly coming up. You don't have a lot of details. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're going to start adding some grilled cheese sandwiches to the menu, different stuff on there, more of a grown-up grilled cheese sandwich paired with soup. All right, and you said tomato soup as well, possibly? Oh, yes, absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Wall Wednesdays. And don't forget to stop by the Wall Sub Shop and try their French dip. Have a wonderful day.